I mean, if America does not help the strong, then technically that's kind of probably most likely why they're the weakest, right? Like, if you think about it, from a solo queue perspective, like... No, I don't want to watch the whole thing. Uh, Dopa. No, there was this video of Dopa saying how bronze people try Me? Do I deserve hell no, I haven't been I haven't even been fucking playing. What the fuck? I can barely even buy my fucking items. What does this have to do with Dopa? Um, I refuse to work with a lot of people and I refuse to give people free shit. Well, you guys aren't doing any better. Man, Dopa has been spamming a lot of videos <laughs> since the last time I fucking... Jesus! Why don't I want to be in high elo? I mean, I don't really see the difference. Like, a lot of the higher elo plays, like, say... I mean, if you look at some of the LCS stuff, too... I mean, I personally don't like watching this, but if you watch, like, even some of the higher elo players, kind of looks like my bronze game. I mean, iron games. So for me to want, like, a higher elo, like, it's going to have to look like Korea or China. I don't know if you guys watched anything from last night. But last night, China was lit. What does that mean? Mm. 
uh, uh, to click this. Oh. <laughs> China doesn't want you guys watching their games. <laughs> Alright, anyways, um... Is this last night? No. Um. Is it this one? Like, if you watch how they play, they play really, 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 really fast. Even if they are throwing, even if they're whatever, who the fuck cares? They play really, really fast. Like... If I'm not speeding this up, like... The way they farm, the way they hit, the way they attack, the amount of damage they do, how much everybody is in lane... Like, they move so much faster than NALCS. Like, look, they're already this fucking close up, like, and then you look at fucking NA, no offense. Like, EU depends. See, this is, this is the thing about EU, okay? Like, I feel like Fnatic plays on a higher, higher, whatever the fuck it's called, than OG. Fuck. Jump to start, oh, fuck. If you watch OG, they they farm pretty slow and they don't push very fast. Like if you watch a lot of Korean and Chinese games, you know like you know this is normal speed. You see how like how slow they are to move up? Like they're still in the middle and it's like 4 4 minutes in. Like this isn't even 4 minutes in. This is 2 fucking minutes in. This is two minutes in and they're already doing this much. And it's not just throwing, it's like the engage and the team fights and like just overall, like the overall movement of the whole entire game is like fast forwarded. You know what I mean? Like besides the times where Fnatic obviously is not doing their best, Fnatic actually pushes really fucking hard. And a lot of times the reason why they win is because nobody can follow them through the fights. Does that make sense? And that's what I really, really, really like about Chinese solo queue and Korean solo queue. Because it's like, two or three minutes in, everybody's already pushed up against... Exactly, see, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what it means to be in high elo. And it doesn't even... But it doesn't matter at that point, you know? It's already China, it's already Korea. Like, what are you going to do? Report people for being throwing and win trading? Like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not even reporting anybody anymore. I'm just embarrassing you in front of the community. That's about it. You want to talk all this shit like, oh yeah, you know, I'm so good. I'm so powerful. I'm all this. I'm all that. So then I'll tweet it right in front of everyone. So I don't know why you're so like shy or like scared or whatever. Because you're the one saying, you know, you're doing this and you're doing that. And you're so respected and you're so fucking good. Like, I'm not the one saying all that. Well, I mean, it's not that hard, and it's pretty fucking annoying when people actually start bringing in facts, and you're like, no, well, you know what, you're the one who boosted me, so you should be the one who gets banned, and it's like, I don't care if I get banned, because I wanted to quit anyways, so, I mean, I already know all your excuses, and honestly, I think everybody's just tired of your bullshit at this point. So, I'm not even going to report you to Riot anymore, I'm just going to publicly shame you, just like how everybody's publicly shaming the fuck out of Donald Trump. No, the, literally the whole entire world is shaming him, so. Well, if you don't want to admit that you're a criminal, then I can just make the information public so everybody can see that you are a criminal. I don't have to explain to them what they can see themselves, right? 
But yeah, this OG game. No, this is why like I didn't really like this Fnatic game, and that's why I'm kind of like. I'm not, I don't really know what to say or do here because, I mean, this is Europe, you know? So, I mean, it's like four minutes in, nobody's doing anything. There's no team fight. There's no, like, nobody's planning on fighting. Nobody's planning on killing. There's nothing. Like... This is just like level one, and did you see that? There was a Caitlyn, like, just like hell of shit in one thing, and then there's like nothing. Like, absolutely just nothing. Like, everybody's just chilling in the bush. No, nothing. Just, just hanging out, you know? No, this is why I call certain teams, like, really weak, you know? It's just, like, nothing, just chilling. like... I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys can all agree that that top lane looks boring as fuck. <laughs> so, I mean... No, but that's, that's what I mean. Like, all high elo girl players, you know, they're like, Oh, they're so good, and then you watch Pokemane's highlights, and you're like, Oh my god, it looks the same. I mean, I think a lot of people were saying how, like, only Uzi and Clear Love were interesting to watch. Everybody else was kind of boring and nobody cares, you know? So, I mean, I'm obviously not the only person who sees this. So. Is it only in China? Uh, well, let's see. Considering how you guys are saying, oh yeah, Chinese people are spies and I'm over here following your fucking bullshit terms of use instead of playing the game and I'm getting made fun of. Like, it's kind of fucking utter bullshit, right? You think I'm just following the terms of use for fun? Are you kidding me? It's just not fun. I could be winning so many more goddamn games if I was just playing the way I fucking wanted to. I'm not really bluffing, I'm serious. Like, considering half of the shit that I could be doing with the community, that would be breaking a lot of terms of use, like... Well, you guys have already reported them though, right? It's all over Reddit. I mean, Nightblue tried to fucking do it. Pokimane try to do it like it's it's been done multiple times like there is no like oh yeah how do you know like it's been done like it's all over the place So like it's not it's it's pretty undoc it's pretty documented you know like it's not like oh yeah Christine how do you know it's not gonna happen how do you know it's not just how do I know you're not bluffing I mean I am cutie pie is a lot more popular than me right and like I am cutie pie is a lot more respected than me right so if Night Blue Three is gonna try to fuck with somebody this respected in the community then I mean I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna try and fuck with me the same way right. So honestly, like, what do you mean I am bluffing when this literally just fucking happened? Nothing happened? What do you mean nothing happened? He almost got permanently banned. There was a whole bunch of drama. Like, you don't understand. Like, there is none- None of this kind of drama exists in China or Korea, right? You either go to jail. Right? So, that's why people in China do it. And that's why people in Korea do it. So why the fuck are you doing it here if you are even saying that I should not be doing this in America? Well, maybe when you stop saying it, and when you stop doing this, then I will consider, hey, maybe this is the right way to play League of Legends, but... That's not really gonna happen, right? So why in the fuck would I actually do it?
Yeah, that's why I said it was grooming kids. It's not like you're fucking MTV or anything. I haven't said shit about MTV. You did, not me. <coughs> Somebody tried to flag all my rap music as criminal, racist black people music. Wasn't me. Well, the problem now is a lot of Europeans are coming to America and trying to do this shit and trying to like- it's just so fucking annoying, honestly. <sighs> I can see it when you guys play in his games. It's not fucking it's hard. Here, you know what? Instead of just throwing it all back on him, let's just go down the list of all the EU LCS fucking games. How about that? It's weird how every single team seems to be playing the same way as my iron fucking rank, except for Fnatic. And because of the shit that's- the threats that you're sending him, now he has to play like it so he doesn't lose his career, which is utter bullshit, and that's why I actually don't mind sending in all these reports. Why? Well, you're either gonna get deported or... You know. But either way, it wouldn't fucking matter to me. Because I'm not the one doing it. Well, I'm not the one trying to get people banned, am I? You guys are so stupid. There's a reason why I purposely didn't play any music. I think you're the only one who stopped that. Well, thanks to your dumb ass, I can't do it. What, so you're gonna snitch on me now? So far, the only person I've stitched on is Night Blue. Cause he's a little bitch. I don't think I've snitched on anyone else. No, this is what everybody else says. This isn't just me saying it. No, I mean, think about it, right? 
If Night Blue's gonna be snitching on I am Cutie Pie, it doesn't really matter for me to snitch because I have never been part of the boosting community anyway, so it's not like I can snitch. <laughs> I don't know anyone. I do not use Discord. I do not have a high rank, so I mean, I don't really understand how it's even possible for me to snitch considering I don't know anyone, so how am I gonna snitch on people I don't know? So of course I'm gonna snitch on fucking I am Cutie Pie when I see- I mean, I'm gonna snitch on Night Blue considering he's doing the same thing I am Cutie Pie is doing, so... To someone who's not part of the community, it looks like the same shit. So... Looks like Night Blue's the only one who's about to get fucked, not me. Considering I have never said anything negative about I am Kitty Pie. I think the only one who's ever said anything bad about I am Kitty Pie is just you guys. Think about it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Play the fucking game! Keep hitting my- I'm just gonna int. You're something me. What, at least the boosters are gonna know I'm not trying to take their free boosts. It's gonna be you. Well, I'm not really part of the Templars, am I? Knowing the rules and being part of it are two different things. You're actually benefiting from them. I'm not. This is why I don't get health. If you can carry, you can carry. You don't need me to heal you. <coughs> See how I know so much about 86 players. Fucking Aurelian soul. Oh my god.
Honestly, you guys should just play like what Reckless is doing. Just go fucking straight out full on karma. Which is shit. But. Why don't I ever use that? Uh, because nobody said anything about snitching. So I guess now they finally understand what snitching means, we can move on to the second phase of the plan. Caught up by the street light. Oh, we're still doing this. Okay. They're about to lose their shit with fucking. You're coming back in delay. How did I back? I need fucking gold. I mean, I need my items. Did you get dragon yet? Oh. Oh, there we go. Holy shit, nice. Not really. I mean, it's hard, but... If you think about it, it's not that bad. Why? Because it's easier to get- it's clearly not your fault, you know? <laughs> clearly! <laughs> well, I'm in America, I don't have a choice. Is that why I like to play on EU solo queue? Yes. my problem. Oh, I just need to defend. The scripts are getting pretty
But this is so nerfed. That item is so nerfed, I don't want to ever buy it. <laughs> I mean, if they're running like four different iPads feeding, I think that would be considered heartless, wouldn't you? Don't ever ask me why I'm not helping this bitch again. <laughs> Really wanted to troll them. <laughs> Uh, probably not gonna make a difference, but whatever. <laughs> Told you the runes were useless, man. Is there even a turret? I don't even think there's a turret here. Oh fuck. <laughs> I wanted to see where they were going to go. That works.
I told you Evelyn was feeding. Don't ever make me help Evelyn again. <laughs> How do I know all this? I mean, think about it, right? There are certain champions you refuse to play. There are certain champions I refuse to play. There are certain champions certain people just refuses to play. So, I mean, it's pretty clear. Nobody ever just helps me because they want to help me. I literally told them not to help me because just to help me. They should always get something in return for their own... Oh, fuck me. For their own reasons. <laughs> don't, don't judge me. <laughs> I don't have the mobility! Gonna alt me. I really don't want to keep pushing. <laughs> Can I recall, please. I though. Yeah. With all fifty of my AP, oh no, it's <laughs> one twenty four now. <laughs> Just kidding. Weak. I'm only weak when people report me. Not again. How come everybody flashes so far away? I can't flash very far away at all. Pushing too confidently.
I know Garen really wants to kill me. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Thank you. <laughs> we have like no damage. <laughs> This is painful. <laughs> it isn't that bad. I think it feels better that way. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's kind of why people in Korea and China just don't ban people, so that the customers don't fight each other. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's why. Well, in America, we have to fight with the warranty thing and the, with the American laws, so... It's not really the same and not as easy as just saying, you know, broke our device, pay for it kind of thing.
What the fuck? Um, this is when it crosses the line. Like, when my teammates start threatening me over scripts that are not my fault, that's when I start reporting people because I am not going to take the fall for something when I am not benefiting from it. Does that kind of make sense? Well, even if I do report, it's going to be going back onto you because when Riot reviews the game they're gonna see that Shen and I were doing everything in the game and you guys were not doing anything at all so if anything a lot of people are gonna see it as okay what the fuck how come only certain people got in trouble and not everybody got in trouble so How do you guys terms of use? What do you guys say? Terms of operate? What the fuck? Uh. Is it called a guarantee warranty? It was called a manufacturer's warranty. Uh. Does Intel have one? Oops.
Well, I mean, Korea, Europe, Korea, Europe, China are all really poor places. So I think most of the time, it's not really a threat to say the warranty is not valid because they probably did it in ways where they cannot afford it from the store to begin with. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you're not buying it from Intel and you are not buying it from NVIDIA and you are not buying it from AMD, the voided contract has been voided since you purchased it. So <laughs> to say that Europeans, Koreans and Chinese people are threatened by your warranty is just completely incorrect because I'm 90% sure they did not even buy it from the original website to begin with. <laughs> Yeah, unless you're like super rich, I don't think anybody in any of those countries can actually afford a brand new Intel or a brand new AMD or a brand new Nvidia, so... Saying that you're gonna threaten them with a warranty is not- doesn't- doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm taking off my headphones because it hurts my ears every now and then. Is it almost 5 o'clock? No, it's not. Oh my gosh, where did my mouse go? Uh, I think there's one more. My ears kind of hurt from all the fucking headphones. How is that hard? You just hire a coach.
Well, that's the thing. Because if you guys start dating each other, then... Uh, I told you guys to watch the documentaries. I think the documentaries make a pretty clear point of what you can and cannot do.
I do agree a strong bot lane can win the game, but if you all you do is heal, then no, I do not agree with that. But if you mean in terms of being boosted, then yes, I would win a lot of games, but I just don't think that's what's going to bring us the most customers. I'm thinking about in realistically, like in real life, not just like, oh yeah, solo queue, like... If you continuously play like that, like sooner or later everybody's going to quit, which they have done in the past already, so it's not like we don't know the consequences of those actions. Yeah, but the girls don't pay to play, the guys do. So, if we don't preserve the male perspective of things, then all the paying customers are gonna stop paying because the girls are only gonna... Like, how many skins are they gonna buy? They're only gonna buy one skin, right? So then each person only buys them one skin and then what? Like, that's it? Compared to, like, a guy... Different guys buying the same skin, like, 50 times versus one girl having one guy buy it for her, like... It's really simple math here. Well, I'm not the manager, so I'm not gonna give him free fucking shit. And the only other manager that knows what I'm talking about, or like at least knows my capabilities, is the C9 something Brazilian something, fuck if I know. No, I'm not working with you. Thank you. I just really like money. <laughs> I mean, for your mentality, it's probably best to just bot the game, but...
I need mobility or something? Doesn't matter for me, I'm, I don't live in China. I think that's called snitching. It's like when Night Blue's like, Oh, I am cutie pie! How come you do this? How come you do this? That's what I think it is. Oh, you guys think it has to do with him? I feel like I've been doing this for a really long time. Even before I met him. I don't really understand what this has to do with him.
Dude, I feel like if I started boosting, this is what all games are gonna look like. Where every single game is just gonna be like a 5-0 to zero surrender after like... What is it called? Because you can easily abuse the system and then every single time, you know, you play for like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, and then you forfeit FFS 15. This is stupid. This is why I say, like, I think I'd rather have more fun with people scripting and speeding in my games. I think we played a pretty good game earlier today where I didn't report anyone. And then you done fucked it up again. We had a wonderful game going. And then you done fucked it up again. Good job, asshole. Good job. I think the whole point of solo queue is because you don't know the other person, not because you know the other person. If we knew every single person we played with, then what the fuck is the point of solo queue? You might as well just queue up in a fucking five-man pre-made, right? The fuck. Never ask for free shit. Don't ask me for free shit. I mean, if we fired you, we wouldn't have to deal with the free shit bullshit, right? Well, considering it's, whatchamacallit. So, if it was a male manager, then it would be like, hey, how come you don't just date the manager instead, you know? And then if it's a female manager, then all the guys are like, hey, that's not fair. So, like, I don't know, I can't win this game. I'm not the only one saying this. Literally every single person in esports says this. No, because, okay, so the thing about gamers is they always say this. They're always like, if I'm the one to help you, then why are you not dating me? And you know what? That's very valid. What do you want me to reply to that? Well, that's why I said I would never want to be fanatic manager ever. Because there's like a bunch of guys. Like literally every single person you work with is a fucking guy. And what are the fans? Fucking guys. So, like, <laughs> why would I want to be a manager? Like, if I'm supposed to be a social media manager for Fnatic, then that means I'm going to have to talk to all the guys. Like, and then it would just be like, okay, so why don't you just... And then I'm just like, oh my god, I can't deal with this. Yeah, but why should I help you? I mean, my resolution is just to work with guys like Jeffree Star, who are obviously not straight. So, like, I do still get to work with guys, just not straight guys. <laughs> What shall I play? But yeah, that's that's just my resolution to the problem, you know? I mean, it's not like I have to hang out with guys, but, and it's not like, you know, makeup guys are not aware of how to play video games. Like, obviously there's Echo Foxes 
Who was that one guy who was a furry that won an award at that thing? He, I mean, obviously he is a guy too, right? It's just he's not a straight guy. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, I would love to work with guys, but just not straight guys, you know? Because straight guys, you know, think with their libido. And I'm not interested. I'm here to do work, okay? I'm here to work. I'm not here to have sex with you. I'm not here to flirt with you. I'm here to talk about the video game, play the video game, and have fun in the video game community. If I wanted to flirt with someone, I would download OkCupid. I would download Hinged. You know, like, there's tons of dating apps out there. I do not have to use eSports as my personal dating app, okay? I just have no interest in that. Unless you're like Tara Babcock, where, like, you have that mentality and capability of actually doing that, then by all means, do that. But I cannot do that, so I will not do it. Why would I even- what the fuck is the point of the manager? Like, I just don't understand. You guys can all manage yourselves. I just don't see the point. Yeah, but I have, like, here's the thing. When a guy, okay, so I've noticed a lot of, like, esports coaches, like the Fnatic coach, right? I'm pretty sure he's, like, the peacekeeper of everyone. And he's, like, respected because he's a good peacekeeper, right? But when you put a girl in that situation, it becomes, like, an attraction. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to dick fuck your manager because that'd be fucking homosexual, you know? But I am a woman. If I do what he does, you guys are going to fall in love with me because you guys are like, oh my gosh, it's a female doing it. Oh my gosh, I think I'm in love. And I'm like, oh my god, no. <laughs> so that part is not really like sexism or like misogyny or whatever. That's just like natural human interaction. You know what I mean? And like in a normal like work environment, that would not happen because you know what I mean? Like if you're a manager at like fucking nvidia or something your job is to make sure that the project runs smoothly and everybody is doing their specific job you know your job is not to play peacemaker like a lot of esports coaches are you know i've noticed a lot of esports coaches tend to be more like okay you know we gotta put this shit together we gotta stop fighting we gotta do this we gotta do this we gotta do this but on an esports level when you're doing it to another person it's not the same and it's actually a little bit different than when you do it in a work environment because in a work environment there's like this unspoken rule of no sex in the workplace and do not flirt with your co-workers or try not to fuck your boss you know but then in esports there isn't really that you know stereotype or that kind of like safety net so to speak so i personally do not feel as safe in an esports environment because it just seems like you know it's free game for everyone and considering all the women in the past who have done it as well, I kind of don't really have an excuse to not do it as well when everybody else is also doing it, right? So I just don't see the point of it. But if a guy is doing it perfectly well, like why would I need to be replaced? Why would I want to replace a person who's doing a perfectly well good job? Like that doesn't make any sense. I understand you guys want to replace, you want a person who is not doing their job to rep be replaced like that is common sense okay that is fucking common sense but i cannot replace every single person so you cannot constantly expect me to be replacing every single person instead of you trying to solve a problem where it can be so that other people can fix whatever the fuck is going on Well, it hasn't ended up very well for them because sooner or later people are going to figure it out and people are going to be like, you know what? Fuck you. We don't need you. And then, you know, <laughs> just all backfires. <laughs> Well, that's the thing about the gaming community, though, because every single person thinks about it like, hey, you know, if I help you, you help me. Like, most people are like that, okay? It's just that very select few who are like, you know what? I'm going to take advantage of the situation.
Well, that's another thing, you know, like, oh my gosh, I can understand how when I went to Rift Rivals, I can understand why Whippo and Broxa were still asking me, like, hey, are you sure you don't want, like, a signature or, like, uh, what is it called? Yeah, a signature? Want me to sign it? I don't even know what the fuck it is called. Anyways, I can see why they're kind of, like, asking me and double-checking with me, because it's, like, I understand a lot of women are like this, but it doesn't mean every single woman is like this. But it's kind of... I can see why it's such a hard behavior to change when there is not a single person you have met that has said no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, 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 that's, that's kind of... Okay, so, you know, in uh, a lot of mainstream... Well, actually, I don't know if I can... Um... You know how there's usually... I mean, does everyone know about the Jake Paul stuff? Because if everyone knows about the Jake Paul stuff, I can just use that as an example. Like, okay, so Jake Paul used to say yes to everyone, right? And then where did that end up for him? Nowhere, because everybody wanted to sue him and everybody wanted to frame him, you know? So, I mean... It's friends like those, like, if you look at Jake Paul now versus Jake Paul back then when he had all those problems, like, I don't think any of the people were the same except for possibly the editors and the cameramen. Everybody else, I feel like, is completely fucking different and now he no longer has that problem. So that's kind of what I mean by you need to make sure of, like, who you surround yourself with because they may or may not ruin your life. <laughs> so... Yeah, but I cannot fix every single fucking team. Like, that's the thing. That's not my job. My job is not to fix teams. Well, I mean, it's not bad, because there are guys who like that, you know? And that's one of the reasons why I don't like it. Like, I don't know if Broxa is this kind of person, or Whippo is this kind of person, but I know there's men who like it when people fight for their women. Like, does that kind of make sense? Like, the reason why there's so many normies that, like, say, you know, if you can't handle a hot girl, then don't date a hot girl kind of thing, it's kind of like, the men need verify- like, the men like it when men flirt with them. What? Fuck. Men like it when other men want to fuck their girl, you know? It's like, gives them validation, thank you, that their girl is hot. Like, not every single man wants no one to flirt with their girl. That kind of makes sense. That's hard. That, that's kind of hard to explain. But you know how, like, a lot of Instagram guys are like, oh yeah, I got an Instagram baddie, but I don't want her to wear this. And then there's a lot of guys who are like, yeah, dude, what the fuck? You need to let her wear that shit. That shit is hella hot. Like, that's what I mean. You know, there's different guys, and they're not really ones that I want to date, but there's also nothing wrong with them. Just a different type of what you want than what they want. Doesn't mean you're wrong, doesn't mean you're right. Just everybody has a different... Whatever. I personally do not like it when men like it when other men flirt because sometimes they get a little bit abusive and like there's always confrontation but then like I said there's a lot of guys who don't mind fighting like they actually like confrontation <laughs> so like I can't really I don't know how to what does that mean men like fighting like men, men like to fight like that's just that's just how men are. They like to fight. Like, I don't know. I personally don't like fighting, and I do not like to see people fighting. Yeah, like the people who date wrestlers and stuff, yeah. They like- they like to see the fighting. They don't mind it. They're like, oh, it's so attractive, it's so hot to see a man fight. Like, no. No, it's not. Dude, why'd you make me walk towards that? <laughs> Why didn't I just play Syndra? I honestly didn't care. I wanted to play a hard game. 
And I figured playing Jin support would be a hard game. <laughs> I don't think First Blood does very much though. I've seen a lot of LCK and LPL games that just completely reverse sweeped. Like they would get First Blood and then they lose by like everything. <laughs> so I personally never thought it mattered. I mean, do you not watch Worlds? Because that's usually who we always lose to. I don't think I don't think China no I don't think America has ever really beat be China or beat Korea I mean you can be salty to a certain extent because once you start watching all the Americans stream on Twitch you kind of realize like what why we've been losing <laughs> Why do people think Var Varus is such a good ADC? I don't get it. I don't understand. Is there something I'm not understanding here? You don't think this is why I'm so good at Jin? <laughs> Did you guys ever consider that could be why I'm so good? <laughs> Dude, getting fed on Jin is super easy. Like once you are fed on Jin, it's super easy to play. What's hard is when you're starting out. That shit is a huge bitch. Why? Because Jin has no cooldown. I mean, I guess he has, like, it just. You know how, like, Callista, Kate, Varus, Vayne, they all have, like, autos, right? But Jin doesn't have any autos. So it's kind of like, if you don't do your shit correctly, like, you're gonna, you're gonna die. <laughs> and I just love how, like, difficult when you do that with Jin is. So, I don't know. I personally like it. 
That's why I like playing Jin support. Why? Because it's super hard. You don't have any gold. You're not like you're not supposed to CS. You know? And it's not like when you're ADC people will give you the CS or like you know? Uh, I don't complain like that. That's why I kind of said nobody else really cares except for you guys. Well, technically nobody really needs you. I think the community was actually a lot better before all that shit. And people cared more about the community, people spent more money. Um, all these things are just in case any girls want to play victim, then I'll be like, well, technically you encouraged a bunch of guys to harass me nonstop for a really, really, really long time. So, I mean. Well, like, for the guys, I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, you harassed me, you know, or like, say you're like sexist or anything. I'll be like, well, you know, since you do support these girls and you do like these girls, then like, I don't understand what's wrong with dating sex workers, you know? Like, are you somehow superior to them? Are you somehow better than them? Like, I don't understand why you think you're better. Exactly, see, now everybody wins. Well, if you really think about it, alpha males usually do that. What does that mean? Like, not all men like... There is a lot of men who are into sex workers because they don't want normal women. They don't like normal women because it's too much, uh, like really, really rich guys, they don't like certain types of women because they think it's too much commitment and they think it's a waste of money and they don't really want to date, you know, so it's up to you.
Well, this is actually how I thought of a lot of the EU LCS games, besides the Fnatic ones this time. Like this, uh, this Sunday, I think? No, this Saturday? Whatever. Whatever the last LEC games were, I feel like the last LEC games was like this. You know, like, everybody was playing like this. But the days before that, where Reckless and his team could actually play properly, didn't really seem like this. I think I need more mobility. I mean, technically it shouldn't matter, but what does that mean? Because um, even if you don't have mobility, you should still be able to walk out of their abilities. But I don't, I don't really have scripts, so it's pretty easy to counter me if I don't have mobility. That's the only reason why I always build um, health regen or whatever the fuck these things are. It's more to catch bugs than it is for me to actually use these. Why? That's what I was asking Riot for the pixels. <laughs> because if they actually programmed their stuff to more details, I wouldn't need to always build mobility to walk out of it. Why? Um, you know how, like, for Call of Duty and, like, you know how, like, for those games, if you're just, like, one, one thing away, or, like, you know what I mean? You can stand on, like, a pedestal or whatever thing, where, like, if you were, like, not one thing away or whatever, you couldn't do it. I think they're relying on me, like, I'm the ADC. <laughs> I'm the support guys. <laughs> Not the ADC. Uh, are you coming back to your lane? I like to play ADC on support because I get way less gold and it's just so much more exciting, you know? No, that's why I like to play mid champs on bot. Because you get like half the gold. <laughs> but, but you're still expected to play like your fucking mid lane, <laughs> which is the funniest part. What does that mean? Like when you play Syndra or like when you play Jin, people still expect you to be like AD carry or mid lane and I'm like, bro, I'm support. Like... <laughs> no, no, no. It's because people are so used to scripts and they don't understand how to play the details of the game. And that's why I love people like who write Wikipedia and ri like Rift Herald and stuff. Because like you guys are the ones making the builds and you guys are like the only ones that understand like what the fuck I'm doing <laughs> to like fuck up the system. Oh man, it's hilarious. I'm not even hacking it. Playing the game, honestly. Oh, he's here. Did we double ignite him? I did. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's what it was. What what did I do? Oh, I pl pressed flash. Hmm. They're in-game scripts. In-game scripts don't matter to me. Why? Remember that guy who went to jail for hacking the riot systems? So, it's really just up to the FBI and stuff now. What they want to do with you. Why? Because... I mean, isn't it obvious? And I feel like I just answered that question. <laughs> if 
but that's how Americans like to do stuff, you know? That's why they're always like, oh yeah, you gotta follow the fucking terms of use, you know, the void, the warranty, Apple Care, like, that's fucking American shit. That's not, not really what the rest of the country does, but, I mean, rest of the world, sorry, not country. Is there even warranty in Taiwan? I don't think there's warranties in Taiwan. I don't even think Apple Care really exists in Taiwan. I think Apple Care is like a purely American thing. Do you guys have Apple Care in Europe? I don't think you do. Do you? I mean, maybe in Hong Kong and stuff, but I don't. I don't think there's that much Apple Care anywhere else. I feel like Apple Care doesn't exist in any other country because they lose too much money on it. <laughs> so they don't want to do it. But then it doesn't really make sense to punish me when I am capable of playing on their level. Does that kind of make sense? Like, if I can play on EU or like. If I can play on their level, then like, why do I have to be punished for being able to play on a higher ELO? Doesn't make any sense. You guys realize that I am not support. I mean, I am not ADC, right? I know this. Just hang back. Jin, do something like he can't, lol. No, it's stuff like this. What was I saying? It's actually like insults like this that I have no interest in ever listening to them.
I mean, there's a reason why I'm not against stream sniping. I think it's games like this that I got really good at setting up my traps. Uh, I never spoke against region lock. I mean, I have always spoken against region locks because, I mean, obviously, like, look at what everybody is doing, so it would be kind of stupid to go against that. So I never said anything against it. But, you know, you guys are the ones asking for it, so I just don't want anything to do with you guys. I mean, obviously, you know which ones are not banned, so you know how much power they have. But didn't you just say you were part of it? Like, why are you trying to sell out at all of a sudden? You were bragging about FF at 15. You're talking about how you're trying to force me to do it by verbally harassing me because I'm fucking stupid or something you said in chat. Right? Well, technically, I know you're a fake booster because real boosters would be like that guy in China, the most dedicated feeder in China, where they don't really need even another person to boost. <laughs> they kind of just use their own fucking computers, right? I mean, sorry, it's not even a computer. Apologies. They just use a fake iPad. So that's how I know, first of all, you're a fake booster. Because I don't think real boosters actually need a computer. Well, okay. Now I can talk. Um, so yeah, whenever you type stuff like this in chat, 
when you say stuff like there's a difference between the truth and being abusive. You can't handle the truth. Good luck in your next game. And then stuff like you took my key. Oh, that no, that's mine. But you still aren't doing much. Um, you still made a bad choice. Jin is squishy as I don't know what that means because I've never communicated with, you know, boosters before. So I don't know what that means. Learn to pick and draft. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Like, is there certain champions that are have a higher win ratio? Like, I mean, I know there's a lot of like statistical sites and stuff, but honestly, I don't see why I need to use that because I'm not really boosted. Like, I thought only the boosting community used those sites. So. I mean, but weren't you guys bragging about all the dungeons and dragon stuff, though? So, I don't understand what the problem is. I was just agreeing with you. Did you not want me to agree with you? Like... But we're not in Europe, so I cannot say that. I don't think I have that much mobility, actually. Well, I'm not really, like, forcing anyone to boost anything, actually. <laughs> I think they're doing it purely out of their own self-interest right now. I don't think it has anything to do with me. No, because I feel like there's a lot of people who think, like, oh yeah, you know, people are forced into the boosting community, and it's like, I mean, yes, they kind of are in a way because of people like this who verbally abuse you and harass you and stream snipe you that like, I can see how that mentally breaks you down. But legally, I think it's actually called something, um, you know how the mafia gets charged for murders and stuff? Cause they're like, I was intimidated by the mafia to murder this person. Like the hell's angels made me do it kind of thing, you know? So I can kind of, so a lot of these people can be like, well, this person forced me to do it. So, you know, I was forced into doing this. I never wanted to do this. They forced me to do it, you know? So, I mean, in America, they do shit like that. And it's like by law or whatever. I don't get it, but that's just something. Yeah, but I have your chat log, you know, because you wanted to use that against Meteos, Jensen, Donkey. So obviously it exists. So there's nothing you can do. To say it doesn't exist. We're all fucking reading it. So, I mean, you're trying very hard to force me to do something when I really clearly do not want to do it. So it really doesn't make me look bad, it actually makes you look really bad. Because <laughs> I've made it pretty clear I'm not interested. And since I say I'm not interested very politely, you tend to verbally harass me and be like, No, bitch, like, you have to fucking do it. Oh, uh, you called me stupid. I think that's about the same. Oh my gosh. 
Orn, you fucking brought the problem here. <laughs> Whoa! Got a new feature. What? Avocado or pink? Yes, I want pink. Alright, what the fuck? Okay, I'm done. Okay, so I can see how Donkey and Jensen were groomed by people like this to become toxic. I think this is also why uh, Riot unbanned Tyler One, because I think they're fully aware of this problem, and I think that was that could have been one of the major reasons why Tyler One got unbanned. But then they had to see like he reformed and stuff, so it makes a lot of sense. Well, I'm not playing for ELO, that's the thing. Well, Tyler one's still a kid, whether you want to admit it or not. Well, I mean, that's the thing, like, I don't think their whole, like, well, actually, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that any other place in the world has this much, like, child protection laws, you know? like. In America, there's like a lot of child protection laws, you know, it's like you cannot do this to a minor, you cannot do this to a minor, you can't do this to a minor. And then in Europe, it's like they don't give a fuck, like, and it's funny because you guys thought like she was a minor? Like, no, everything she does is perfectly legal. Like, here, let me, how do I say this? Everyone in NA thinks Belle Dalphine is a victim and a child sex slave meanwhile in europe everyone knows it's fucking normal
I mean, people obviously still want to play this game. Oh, did you want me to verbal? I, I didn't really care. I didn't really want to report in-game, though. I just wanted to kind of show everybody, because I'm not really the one who wants to be toxic back to you. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people you possibly could have reported in the past that want to enjoy their fun. What? What was he being investigated on? Uh oh. I mean, Tyler one's still a kid, whether you want to admit it or not. Tyler one's still really young, and he's. St I would consider. Is he even. Can he even drink yet? Not even 21, is he? Oh, he's 24? Damn. Turner is 20? Oh. Well, considering, you know, no offense, but Tifu is kind of more mature than Tyler 1. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna lie. I, I genuinely think, personally, that Tifu is a lot more mature than Tyler 1. Like, Tifu doesn't... I don't know, man. Tifu just does not seem... Doesn't it? I don't know, man. I mean, Tyler One, how long? Hold on. I don't really know a lot about Tyler One. Sorry. Give, give me some time to figure out who the fuck this guy is. <laughs> okay, so Tyler One. Where's that YouTubepedia thing? So he was not part of the beta stuff, right? No. He was never part of... Hold on. He was never part of... I mean, I already got too many chat bans. Like, I'm gonna- I'm gonna get another fucking ban if I'm toxic anymore. So somebody's fucking reporting me. I don't know who the fuck is reporting me, but someone's fucking reporting me. I already got too many chat bans. I don't want to get a permanent ban. Um... Hold on, what is my- can I- can I show you guys? My- let me see, um, I think it's this email. <laughs> I have so many emails. Don't judge me, okay? Get a lot of spams. Uh... Okay, here. So, your email seems to be related to an issue- oh, fuck me. So, your email seems to be related to an issue accessing our site due to a suspended account or blocked IP address. So, 
So, I think you guys should reconsider if I'm really snitching or I'm just helping myself. And it's funny because I never even used a different IP address. I literally just changed from Wi-Fi to phone data plan. So, like... Unless you guys are trying to frame me for a crime I never committed, which would not really be a big problem considering I support Black Lives Matter, so... I think we are all aware of the abuse of the system. And that's kind of why I'm bringing up all the sex, sexualized content on Twitch and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I got banned for an IP address because I was creating accounts or some shit. I, I, hold on. Let me see if I can find another email. What? Oh, here we go. So, um, based on review of your community reports about your activity content, we have issued miscategorized content or other category and indefinite suspension from accessing. <laughs> no, no, this is why I told Reckless he was going to get banned. Um, so please note that creating, accessing, using, appearing on other at any point there is a prohibited adding additional violations, miscategorized content strikes about guidelines. This is what legitimately I got permanently banned for, which is hilarious. Um, and then there was another ban, I think, on my other accounts. Dude, I have way too much fucking emails. Anybody know what my other accounts are? <laughs> uh, nope. Not this one. Fuck, I don't know. I, I actually don't know. I don't know what my other accounts are. <laughs> but yeah, I got, um, I got permanently banned for avoiding IP address ban or something like that. And then I got miscategorized ban, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> permanently banned at that. So, I mean, I'm getting a lot of weird bans that make no sense. So I can kind of relate to the community, not because, like, I naturally related to them, but because I was forced to relate to them. So it's not like, oh yeah, I totally want to be your friend. It's kind of like, well, we kind of have the same problem. <laughs> and then I've gotten chat bans. How do I check that up? Because I don't think this is the email that I used. <laughs> Whoops. How do I check for my, ch oh shit. How do I check for my chat bans? Does anyone know? Like, how do I, is this even the email that I used? Oh my god. Riot ban? Suspended? Dude, how do I check this? How do I check for like, how do I check for my League of Legends account bans? League of Legends account bans. My account is suspended. How do I check for my pat previous bans? Can my suspension? What the fuck? How do I how do I check about how do I check on my bands? Somebody send me a link. <laughs> How do I check on my League of Legends account bans? Is there a way to track player ban status? What? Discuss the board's support ticket? Uh, what?
I can submit a ticket and ask. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn it! Maybe I should have been smart like Donkey and documented it. Well, how the fuck was I supposed to know I couldn't fucking find it again? What the fuck? No, I only defend Jensen because I'm fucking toxic as shit. <laughs> First female NA to get banned for non slutty wit reasons. Banned in NA for refusing to be a slut. Why though? It's a fucking shitty website. I don't fucking want to use it. Thank you. Thank you. What are they called again? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, thank you, speedrunners. Uh, no, please. <laughs> so thank you. Well, I'm not playing for ELO, so my content is naturally going to be completely different from everybody else making content just for ELO. Well, I think that's the problem, because everybody's playing for ELO that, like, nobody's really playing for fun. And I think that could possibly be one of the problems right now. Well, like, at least from, from my perspective, I feel like there should be more people who play for fun. Because, like, you will always have pro players, you know? Like, you will always have people who want to become pro players. But the amount of people that can become pro players should be, like, in their own category, you know? Whereas normal people who just want to play the game should still be allowed to play, not, like... Well, that's my image. Hello. People are not stupid. Thank god you guys found a way to do that. Because I did not know how else to fucking do anything. Well, you guys kind of started this fight, you know? Like, you guys try to put Duffy in jail when we all know damn well that it wasn't all his fault. And then you tried to get multiple people arrested, and then, you know, like, you guys just keep doing this to yourself. Like, you cannot have anyone to blame but yourself. So, I don't know how to, like, feel sorry for you guys, or- Oh god, I said sorry again. Sorry! I don't know how to feel sorry for you guys, okay? Gosh. <laughs> Well, that's kind of why I, I mean, I don't really see, I mean, I see it as very fucking embarrassing, and that's probably why. You guys are constantly, like, embarrassed like that. 
because I feel very, very embarrassed that I have to make content like this. Like, I think this content is so embarrassing that, like, when people ask me what my Twitch is or what my Twitter account is, like, I am so embarrassed at everything that I do that I don't even want people to know. That is how fucking embarrassing I think this is. I think that's why you guys get such bad karma because I'm so fucking embarrassed at all the stuff that I do. I think it's fucking embarrassing and I think it's fucking unnecessary and it makes me so fucking uncomfortable every time I fucking do this. I'm not kidding you. That's why this content is so disgusting all the time because I'm so uncomfortable when I make it. No, that's how I am able to use- to not use Twitter for like hours on end because I genuinely am so uncomfortable with using it like this. We well, gotta build up the crescendo, hello. I don't have any goddamn words, stop asking me for fucking words! No, I'm not buying a pink. It's too expensive. I don't have fucking 75 gold. Okay, that's too expensive and I don't have it. <laughs> Gary. I feel like I should do something to like help her but like honestly there's nothing I can do like I don't have any gold to buy anything <laughs> like, even if I wanted to help her I can't no when I'm truly happy is when I'm making content you know when I'm actually able to just talk about the game like I have I do not have fun when I'm constantly talking about like drugs and alcohol and like shitty people and like how you know echo fox or whatever or fanatic and all that like that is not my job okay like but as a woman it seems like i'm the only person who can talk about it you know what i mean like a guy can say the same thing a guy can be like hey you know why aren't you doing your job but no he's sexist and then when i say hey why aren't you doing your job it's like perfectly fine even though we said the exact same fucking thing so like i'm like forced to do this because i understand like you guys are supportive and like do stuff you know, but you guys can't say anything, which is kind of why I don't mind doing this. Because I'm like, I think it's more painful being you than being me right now. <laughs> so it's like, maybe I shouldn't be such a little bitch about everything when you have it way worse, you know? Is that why I'm always so strong? I'm not. I just don't want to be a bitch, you know? Because it's like, well, it's probably harder on you guys, so I don't want to be a little bitch and whine and moan when you guys have it harder. That's literally the only reason. Yeah, I have no words for you. Okay, Annie's obviously bored. <laughs> A 
Okay, I can't I can't be too close in case Rengar comes. I mean, it's pretty easy to tell that I don't fucking like doing it, right? When I can just go on for hours and hours and not talk about it. If I like talking about it, then I should be bringing it up constantly, right? Which I don't. So, obviously, I don't like it. Well, guys do that shit for me all the time. Why do you think everybody's fucking warding now that I don't have to ward everything? Thank God. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, junglers, and thank you, ADCs, for fucking warding because that shit was fucking so bad. Ward, please. Ward, please. No, I don't have any wards for you. Stop asking me. So, I just want to thank all the people who started warding as a jungler and as an ADC. I am forever grateful for you. If there's anything you need me to say as a woman, which is exactly what you said, please let me know anytime. I would be more than happy to repeat exactly what you said and then insert, I am a woman. <laughs> Why did I take that away? I didn't. So you can clear the waves faster. <sighs> this is such an easy game being boosted. Well, that's just what happens, you know? After a certain amount of games, you just stop feeling sorry for other people when you stop giving, fu giving a fuck. Right? That's why I said this behavior is really bad to have in League of Legends, because sooner or later, everybody's gonna be out to kill each other. And... There won't be a game anymore because everybody's dead. <laughs> so... I mean, it's not team deathmatch, you guys. If it was, then I'd be perfectly fine with it, but it's not. So, I cannot be okay with it. My goodness. I am so boosted. Well, it looks like we have time. Rebroadcast. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, no, no. What are we doing? I don't know. I'm just so boosted. I don't know what I should do. I have some money. <laughs> okay.
Thank you. What happened? I don't get it. Drive by? <laughs> that sounds funny, but I don't know what happened. So much roaming. I mean, you can't really threaten me with feeding, right? <sighs> I mean, you can if you want, but I don't think that's really a threat anymore at this point. If you want to feed, you can go ahead and feed. I really don't care. Oh my gosh, let me help you. I got wars. One though. We got a Bard versus Shen. Oh, that's broken. See, that's the thing. If you're gonna threaten me for helping me, then don't help me at all. I don't want to fucking hear about it. Run. Oh, no, we're both dead. No, this is why I don't like being boosted, because then I don't know what I need, and then I die very easily. If I wanted an easy game, I would have just fucking hired a coach. Well, then I'll get along with people who cannot afford a coach. Well, what, what would the problem with that be? <laughs> like, what, what am I, scared of poor people or something? <laughs> what is so wrong with that? I don't understand. You're saying it like it's a really bad thing. Oh. That's on you, not on me. I don't care.
there's a difference between me actually playing the game and being set up by someone else. Well, I've actually preached about, you know, reliable shit because then people will be more likely to pay a huge amount without any questions. So, I mean, I'm not really the one who's ruining that part for people. Well, they do get paid real money though. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't know how to like... We don't need to insert that last part, but considering my bands, I guess, I mean, I'm really not that different from them, am I? Well, I mean, since you guys want to brag about knowing who I did drugs with, I mean, obviously I'm not lying, right? And even if I did lie, they would probably kill me because they're, they're like real drug dealers, right? So they're not just like, oh yeah, I did fucking Silk Road shit on the internet, like they're real people, right? So, I mean, I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to walk away from that. Well, you don't really see me complaining about it, right? But then at the same time, I'm not really trying to get them all put in jail, so of course I'm not going to really have that same problem that you do. Since you're like the only active person who's trying to put them all in jail, it would make sense why they would not be the happiest about you. You know, I think I know why you guys are always so nervous when you travel now. Like, you talk so negatively about every single person in the world that when you travel, you're like scared shitless because you're fully aware of everything that you have said about them on the internet and you're like hoping to God that they did not see it. And I'm like, you know they saw it, right? And I think that's why you guys are so, so, so scared when you travel. Does that kind of make sense? Like, I am not scared to travel because I have never been like a fucking idiot on the internet insulting everyone and making fun of them for being poor and not living in America. Like, that's just something you guys have done and I think that's why you guys are all- That's why you guys are always like super panicky or like super nervous about certain things. And I'm just like chilling. <laughs> I don't know how to apologize to them because I've never done anything like that to them. And even if I did, I would not help you. No, that's why I said not to boost me. Because I said I would hire you as a coach and then we can do it everything legally and then I can talk about it, you know. But I don't really see the point of it because I'm not, I'm not here to be like, oh my gosh, look at my diamond place. Ah. I just genuinely want to find a fun way to play this game without it having to do with any elo because I feel like that's where a lot of people are like thinking about quitting. Because there's a lot of, like, it's great and all, but it's only great if you're going to become a pro player. Like, I feel like there's a lot of people who, like, stop playing because they're like, well, I don't really see the point because I'm not really climbing and I'm, like, losing elo and I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. 
And that's most of the time why people stop playing League, because they're like, oh, I'm not climbing anymore. You know, I don't know, it's too much time, it's too much, like, energy. <sighs> so I feel like that's 90% of why everybody quit as well. There's that 50% of shitty people, and then there's that 50% of I don't want to deal with it anymore. So, I mean, while I'm trying to come up with, like, a legitimate business plan where people can play League of Legends, people are saying all this shit about me, which makes no sense, so I don't know. Well, if people can see that they can still have fun without caring about their rank, then there would be more people playing, right? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Bard. <laughs> well, thank you. I don't know how to save you. I don't have heal. Uh, I don't really need to. Annie, I'm coming. Wait, why is it following me? <laughs> no, this is starting to look like a high elo game. Why? Because it's, like, whenever it starts looking like basketball, or like, if there's like one person, or like, there's just little things. Yeah, that's usually- that's why there were so many people in Iron, like, two seasons ago, because everybody was on a Smurf account. <sighs> Probably because they were tired of your shit. I haven't even- I did not play, like, almost a lot of last season, I think, and I think- a lot of people stop playing. <laughs> not my fault, I can't do anything if I'm not playing. I cannot tell people to play if I'm not even playing. There you go, thank you. That's why I, w I can never be a drug dealer, because I'm like, yeah, sure, this cocaine is great. And they'll be like, do you try your cocaine? I'll be like, no, I don't even do cocaine. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then nobody's gonna buy my cocaine. <laughs> Because they're like, no, you didn't try your cocaine. I don't want your cocaine. <laughs> what does this have to do with coke? I don't know. I just feel like drug dealers have to do their drugs. Or like have to know more about the drugs so they don't get ripped off or like be able to sell it, you know? I just don't think they would be very good drug dealers if they don't know anything about the drugs. I don't know. That's just my thinking. Never sold cocaine, so I don't know. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Oh, I got one-shotted. Does that make sense? Hell yeah, look at my fucking build. Do I have- oh, well... It's 200 health, it's not that tanky. I've said this before, remember last time when someone got a Triforce? They're like, oh, I'm tank. I'm like... You're really not, but... Fuck it. If that's how you want to play, I guess we'll play that way. <laughs> Well, you see how that just feels so much more lighthearted because it has nothing to do with drugs or cartel or anything. It's just like, if you want to build Triforce and think you're tank, then yeah, sure. Like, <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I was talking about Dread Pirate Roberts. Like, they think their life is boring. They need to spice it up, you know? But it's like, I don't want any more spice in my life, but thanks. Thank you. Am I still mad at what? I don't think I'm the one having the problem. I just don't think he wants to deal with it. Is that why I don't stream? Well, my... Okay, so here's the thing, okay? Get it in your head that my content does not rely on any guys in esports, okay? I actually had to turn off, thank you, my face cam a few times because right after Rift Rivals, I feel like everybody who knew me, knew me. And I didn't want people to know me. I wanted my freedom of nobody knowing me. Why? I want people to like me for my content, not for my titties. 
Why did I? Oh, because I just wanted to see. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I like showing my boobs where I know I'm safe. My bubbies. Believe it or not, I do like wearing booby shirts. I just don't want to always show it because then I feel like a bimbo. <laughs> like a dumb bimbo. <laughs> And now that I have blonde hair, I just feel super blonde and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, but that's... My hair is always going to be blonde, though, because... Because I don't have... Holy Jesus, how am I not dead? I don't like being white. I feel like being white is an insult. <laughs> being an Asian and being called white it just seems like an insult. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, white people. Like, when people call you blonde, that's- I'm pretty- I'm 90% sure that's just an insult. I don't think that's a compliment in any way. No, no, he's coming again. <laughs> I really cannot push. I am support, guys. Please, stop trying to make me do fucking damage, because I can't. 666! Six, six, six. What?! Just kidding, I got sixes in my birthday. It doesn't matter that much to me. Um, you know how, like, in Reincarnation, People say, like, um, if you are something, something, you get reincarnated or go to hell or something like that. So I was never really, like, against Satanists or anything, because I was like, what if, like, because my children are aborted, they automatically went to hell or something, <laughs> you know? <laughs> No, that's why I'm not so against it. Why? Why would I- what? Yeah, but I'm not Christian, so how does- how does my children end up in heaven? I don't think that's how- I don't think that's how it works. I think because I'm not Christian and I'm not baptized that my children will end up in hell because I was- <laughs> Not Christian. <laughs> so if my children are gonna be in hell, then why would I? Then oh shit, thank you. Then why would I be against Satan when he's gonna be the protector of my child? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, you guys. I don't want to know what the Shen has built. Why? Because he was doing really, really well against the Bard. He's got Frozen Mallet. AP. What's helping? I wonder what he built. This is health and AP. But this doesn't build into anything. This is... Yeah, but the staff still has the most magic pen. 
It's forty percent. This is fifteen percent, which doesn't make any sense. So how do I know this? Oh, I read it a long time ago when it came out. I just never used it because it didn't make any sense. Like it didn't help with anything. So I just never used it. I mean, if this one is better. Oh, wait. Didn't this used to have magic penetration? Did they take that off? Oh, that's why you guys got this. So, because you guys took the magic penetration off of this item and then you built this. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But well, the staff is still better. <laughs> How do I know this? I read. Should I start building health? Like, I just don't understand what I should do. Do whatever you guys want to do. Oh no, teammate. Oh no. Who's gonna win? I don't know who won. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, is this a throw or is this a win? I may never know because I didn't watch. <sighs> I am this poro. Nobody sees me. Nobody knows. Oh shit, we won. I'm pretty sure he wants to play 90% of the games like this. I just don't let him. <laughs> Considering I obey all the right rules. Okay, how do I show you guys that? How do I show you my chat bands? How can I? How do I find past bands on my League of Legends account? No. Why is everybody in EU asking this and nobody in NA is asking this? Uh, I remember this. Damn it. Hold on. Is there any account information? <laughs> Before I sound retarded. 
or before I fuck up again. What? Currently available in NA and LAS. Choose a type. Discuss. RP. Tech. In support. I am the parent of an under- Oh my goodness. Data management deletion. What do I need help with? How would I request account- Oh my gosh, I can't scroll. How would I request? How I would like to request subject my past fans description. Is this this is an account registered? No, language English. Okay, submit a ticket. Greetings, human. What? Request a human. Get help. Open. Okay, honestly, I've clicked everything that I possibly can click. Whether or not I'm supposed to click everything, I don't know. <laughs> but we will see what happens. <laughs> Of course I didn't wash my hands. How the fuck do I pee so fast if I washed my hands? I need to go get my fucking other side. Other thing. So I need to use my headphones. But um... Yeah, nothing I do really has anything to do with Reckless to be honest. Because... Um, I actually had to turn off my- the only thing that I had to do with Reckless was I had to turn off my face cam after Rift Rivals because everybody kind of figured out who I was and I had big old titties, so... I think that's the only thing that had something to do with Reckless on my stream is when I had to turn off the face cam. Most of the time when I turn off my face cam it has something to do with Reckless because of the stuff that happened after Rift Rivals when everybody realized that I am fucking real and that I am not a man. <laughs> then, <laughs> that's when the problems came. But yeah, I'm gonna go walk my dog. Um, I don't think I really have any any other problem besides that with Reckless- I mean, sorry. 
I know a lot of people think a lot of the things that I'm doing is related to Reckless, which it really does not, because I understand from a sponsor's perspective and from like a pro pro player's perspective how that can like affect your employment and your job, and I think it's really fucking weird. So I would not do that anyways, because I already know too much. But um, it's just weird that people would automatically assume that it has something to do with Reckless, even though I feel like I've been doing the same thing for a really long time. That like, I've been doing, thank you, before I even met Reckless, so it would not really make any sense to say what I am doing now has anything to do with Reckless. <laughs> I feel like I've been doing this since way before I met Reckless. <laughs> so, I mean, if anything, it would be kind of weird if I stopped doing this because I have met Reckless. No, no, because I have... I have never met... Well, fuck. Damn it. It would be weird <laughs> if I said that I no longer do this because I follow Reckless on Twitter. Then it would be really weird and out of character for me. Because I have been doing this for like three years, right? And then all of a sudden I meet Reckless. I mean, all of a sudden I fucking follow Reckless on Twitter. And then it's like I change, you know? That, now that would be weird. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not really sure if you can like just kind of throw him. Okay, so I understand that scapegoat is a hard word to understand, okay? But you cannot use Reckless as a scapegoat for my behavior, you know? A person who is blamed for the wrongdoings, mistake, or fault of others, especially for reasons of exp expediency. I don't know what that means. But you guys cannot really blame Reckless because you don't like my content. Like, that doesn't make any sense. I've been doing this way before I have ever met Reckless or known anything about Reckless. So you cannot blame Reckless for anything that I do. <laughs> But the only, uh, the only, well, actually, not really, because I watch a lot of, because of Crepo, I watch a lot of EU LCS. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I don't really know how you can, like, there's just never one thing or another that you can just blame people on, because if I'm nice to everyone, then I guess everyone should be to blame, not just, like, one or two people. Well, I stopped a lot of this when I was going to school. But now that I got kicked out, I don't really have to stop, right? Um... <laughs> so, I mean... I don't really know. I kind of have to rebuild my reputation from... When I started League of Legends. Because when I started League of Legends, I was already like this. I mean, probably not this hard. <laughs> But I was definitely already like this and I know a lot of people like recognize me or like What is it called? Found me. Thank you because of the stuff that I was posting on NA boards Ooh, how about we buff neither? <laughs> Mages are one of the <laughs> How about we outright remove runes? Ooh, that's interesting. Classes and champions can be reworked so that the game can be more healthy again, reducing overall damage, making late game champs less of a dead pick, and touching up the jungle so that the trifecta of gankers counter powder if I can return. You know, that's actually really interesting because I feel like this guy was like a beta player. Because I have a feeling that in beta, there was a lot of different things. So anyways... All I'm saying is, all this, like my whole entire... Oh yeah, this is just on my side account, not even my main account. This is my smurf account? No, my... Yes, this is actually my smurf become main. So, um... So... I mean, I'm used to Neopets, so we call it a side account, it's not really a smurf account. Like, it took me a while to realize what smurf means. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was like, you mean a side account? Why you keep saying smurf? Because every time I hear smurf, I think about that blue guy. And I'm just like, this is, this has nothing to do with a little blue guy. Like, <laughs> So, most of everything in my reputation is based on my board posts that I started using a long time ago. Like, four years ago. My god, that's why I kept seeing four. 
All right, so this is <laughs> most of this is actually most of everything that I do and anything that I do is mostly from this. Um, a lot of my recognition is from uh, is from board posts, and then the rest is actually from Gamergate. Because I was like, oh my gosh, you know, Zoe Quinn is a fucking female gamer and a feminist. And then someone corrected me. It was like, no, you need to read like the Zoe post. Like, that's really what started it. You know, because I was trying, like, I'm already a very observant person. So I tried to, like, broaden my overview by reading, like, multiple articles on the Gamergate situation. But most of my Twitter stuff is from Gamergate. Because I thought that I was supporting a female gamer, but I was not. So I'm super grateful for the people who corrected me and was like, no, you need to know your shit and thank God because I do not like supporting the wrong cause, you know? But I think it's also because I check like a billion articles. Anyways, besides the point, <laughs> um, most of my reputation is from Gamergate on Twitter and board posts on League of Legends. It never had anything to do with guys, ever. Like, no man ever helped me. If anything, men have actually fucked me. Like, no, not like sex fucked me, but like... Counterproductively fucked me. Okay, wait, hold on. God damn it. I need to stop saying fuck me, because I think every time I say fuck me, you guys think about sex. <laughs> and that, that's not what's happening. Fucked me, as in they screwed me over, ruined my career, tried to slander me, tried to make me look bad, tried to ruin any chance that I possibly can of succeeding because I am a woman and I refuse to have sex with them. That's what I mean. By fucked me. So, um... I mean, I'm not really... I feel like it's be... Well, actually... No. I think it's my my own interest in being like this perfect person that I actually am where I am, you know? Because ever since I started coming into esports, like after the why do I keep losing internet and then it's like to be honest, I know nothing except connect and disconnect or whatever. What are the squirrel things called? And then I started coming up with like a lot of business ideas. And then I think slowly from that, and also like other things, did I start gaining more and more recognition in esports? I don't think it had anything to do with like, oh yeah, I was tweeting. I think a lot of the tweeting pro players and public figures actually hurt my, actually hurt my career more than it helped my career. No, because I don't want to fucking talk about this in the middle of my fucking games. Like, every single time in the middle of my game. Oh, yeah, you know, you're doing this because of Reckless? I'm like, no, fuck. You can't ask me in the middle of the fucking game. Like, <laughs> you gotta ask me before and after the game. Don't ask me in the middle of the fucking game. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cute icon. All right, anyways, but most of everything that I do and have done in the past has nothing to do with men. And men actually has ruined my careers. And that's why I was so surprised when Reckless was saying how having a girlfriend will ruin your career. And like, I can see it from like an Asian guy's perspective because our culture is kind of like that. So it's kind of makes sense. But then to see like a European or like a different person say the same thing, it's just kind of like, huh, huh, huh. So um, that's about all I can say. <laughs> I mean, I may not be a man, but I do agree with Reckless because men do ruin my career. Like, whether you guys want to admit it or not, but being a female in esports, men ruin your careers. Having any kind of emotional attachment to one man will ruin your career. If you, if you s specifically, like, choose one man over another, it will ruin your career. Unless, unless you have a reputation of actually talking about the game then it cannot ruin your career but even then there would be women who will try to ruin your career <laughs> so then it's like it's just like non-stop problems it's either men get really angry they can't have sex with you or it's women who get really angry because you are better than them <laughs> and then the worst part is is there are men who will help women so then now there's like you cannot be friends with men and then you cannot be friends with women so it's like the only person you can really truly rely on for your own career success is yourself 
I'm sorry. That that sounded so fucked up, but as a person who is like who has been through so much shit, like that's literally my conclusion, you know? <laughs> my conclusion is do not make friends with women because they'll fuck you. Do not make friends with men because they'll fuck you. Do not make friends with random people on the internet because they'll fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. I laugh because we all know it's true. But um one sure way that I have figured out is stick to the game you know like as soon as you get outside of the game that's where all the problems come from like a lot of some of my twitter stuff has nothing to do with the game got fucked um gamergate stuff kind of doesn't have to do with league of legends but it kind of does but it's kind of hard to, for i noticed a lot of people don't understand like where games come from kind of thing they're just kind of like yeah there's just a bunch of like magical riot employees thank you that just like and then things come out, you know? <laughs> or like, they don't understand how these regulations work because they know, they think like, oh yeah, it's because of this. And I'm like, well, if you read the terms of use, you would understand that you're getting this because of this, you know? So, I don't know. I feel like there's just a lot of like, nobody really understands what's going on, period, you know? And like, I don't know if they're like genuinely curious or like they're like, fake curious or like they genuinely don't understand or they do understand what does this have to do with reckless that's exactly my point it has nothing to do with reckless so please stop bringing it up because it has nothing to do with him <laughs> like everything i have done is pretty much my own career like well actually it's not my own career but more of like defending myself you know like i feel like a lot of the things that i know now are because people have attacked me over time like, how do I know so much about DDoSing? Oh, I don't know, because I'm always getting DDoSed to the point where I cannot get internet while I play. So yeah, that's definitely not something I learned on my own. It's because somebody was doing it to me. Um, what's a mega crate? Is it part of the loot crate? Because I wanted more Riot merch, but then the Riot merch said it wasn't there, so I had to Google it. So, you know what I mean? But stuff like... Stuff like, does a head coach have to have a pass pro or have won championships, been championships? That's because I personally wanted to become something like this because I do swimming, right? Well, I didn't really make it public that I swim, but I used to swim. And so I figured, you know, this could be something just like swimming, right? So there's also personal interest stuff. And by your statement, doesn't something, does it something, does it something, does, does, like I mentioned, the main... Oh yeah, and then I think stuff like this is why people started, like, really understanding that I don't really, like, you know what I mean? Because, uh, where to go? So people usually do not care about a wall of text There's when there is serious staff in it, stuff in it. Guess what happens when there is trolling is stupid stuff? What? Coach is someone- a what? That's why since uh, it's not a physical sport. What? Oh my gosh. I hate how the boards replies to this. Like I mentioned. Okay. Like I mentioned. The main purpose asked is connection versus connection versus experience because when you get DDoS is based on connection since anyone can DDoS using Google instructions programs. But connection saves, connection saves, what keeps you protected? So to be a coach, which is preferred. Oh yeah, so what I was saying is I noticed like sometimes like because you guys are friends with each other, right? You guys will purposely make one person a coach and then you won't make another person a, not a coach because, you know, you don't know that person. And the reason why I know this is because I used to play on online tournaments with Battlefy, I think. And so I noticed because uh, they were like, oh yeah, play Nami, and then I played Nami, and then they fucking fucked me. So a lot of these things I have learned over time. So it's kind of like, well, if you didn't purposely feed, or if you didn't do these things, then I would have never learned about it. Does that kind of make sense? Like, and it's not even these people telling me this stuff. It's like, I already know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of like, I was just trying to get clarification so to speak.
Because if everything in esports is based on connections, then it would make a lot of sense why every single person is so desperate, but then at the same time, like... There's a lot of people who don't have money that aren't, like... Does that kind of make sense? So then how are you going to deal with that? I'm not saying it's a bad system, it doesn't matter to me, because I... I'm fine. But I'm just saying, like, based on this post... So then what do you guys do? You guys just like ask each other like, oh yeah, then doesn't that create like a whole entire problem of like social climbing? No, that's what I'm saying. You know how, like, I know a lot of the fanatic people are like, Oh yeah, well, you do a better job. I'm like, well, I mean, if you guys are based on connections, then technically you're supposed to do a better job than some random person off the street. So, like, obviously that system is not working. <sighs> no, see, it's stuff like this where you know a lot of people are actually here to- It's not called trolling. It's more of- There is a lot of girls in esports that are only in esports to get shit. Which is not bad, which I have said on my Twitter. I said- I have said this before. I said, I much rather have female gamers do what they do what they enjoy instead of emotionally and mentally manipulate men into thinking they have a chance and having those jaded men become verbally abusive towards innocent girls. Does that kind of make sense? Because I feel like most of men who do stuff like this or do stuff like this is because there are a lot of women, like, I remember there was, like, this whole, like, game- Well, I don't really want to use Gamergate because when people hear Gamergate, they, like, shut off. But, um, let's say Casey Tron, and remember that whole Sky Williams, Casey Tron, Civ HD debate. Oh yeah, and Destiny. Remember this whole thing? So- <laughs> boob streamers what so remember how there was this whole entire debate you know like this thing took like fucking hours and hours and hours to like fucking debate about right so if you really think about it if females gamers could just do what they enjoy which is what she's doing instead of like being forced to be like this gamer or whatever then like would we even have this problem like Right? Like most of these guys, the reason why they exist is because they're probably jaded. Because, you know, little kids who have never been fucked over by a woman probably is not aware of this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why you call them 12 year olds. See? You get my point. So. That's kind of why I'm pushing. I'm not pushing for illegal sex work, you know? Like if you're fucking underage, don't sell people your fucking child porn. Like, don't do that shit. But <laughs> if you if it is legal, like say you are in Europe or something, because Belle Daphine, Daphine, oh my god, I hope I don't get porn. She's 19 and she's based in UK. Okay, here, let me show you guys this. UK age of consent. UK! So Prime Minister calls for the age to be re lowered to- Oh my god. PM rejects call to lower age of consent to 15. So she's like way over the age of like, you know. 
You guys are all like, oh my gosh, you guys are like pedophiles. She's like barely even legal. And it's like, uh... She's perfectly legal. <laughs> Does that kind of make sense? So, I mean, it's not really child pornography when it's legal there. I mean, I think it's legal since she was like 16. 15? 16? Yeah, so for Pokimane to have, like, say she has child porn, even though she's been legal since 16, is kind of, like, bizarre. <laughs> Why? Eighteen. Ours is eighteen. Yours is sixteen. Alright, anyways, so, um, yeah. I don't know what I can really talk about this. Well, you guys were talking about child porn. She's- it's not really child porn if it's... She's been legal for four years, <laughs> like... So, I, I don't know how this is child porn when it's, she's, she's... The legal age is 16, so... You guys are gonna have to try a little harder than that. Um... Why? Just don't understand why. Are they different people? Or are they the same people? Oh man, Rigi Patel is on again. And he's got a lot of women. A lot, a lot of women. Alright, um, isn't that a song? I swear it's a song. Maybe not, like, a song that normal people know. <laughs> Alright, um, I don't really know where I should go. What should I do? Uh, sure. Whatever. Ew, I don't want to be here. But, um... Yeah, this is this is what brought my well as a female you kind of get dragged into this Like it's not even like you want to be part of it or you don't want to be part of it because it seems like every single woman who ignores this situation is either a booby streamer or Someone like rainbow kids and or like pokemane and like honestly, I do not want to do anything that they do so it's not like, oh yeah, you know, why do you bring up the shit? It's more like, I don't have a choice. Because silence is consent, you know? Fuck. Well, now that you guys know about my chat bands, now that you guys know about my Twitch bands, can you kind of see why I am forced to support Medios, Jensen, and Dunky, and all of that. Like, it's not like I naturally knew about this shit, you know? Like, <laughs> it's just because I keep getting these bans. So then I'm like, oh shit, well, you know, this guy got banned the same way I got banned, so why would I be against, you know? And then I see the stuff, the mistakes that they've made, and I'm like, I don't remember making any of these mistakes. And that's why I started bringing up the laws, because I was like, what, you're gonna tell me like I'm doing all this illegal stuff? You know what, before you even fucking go there, I'm just gonna go there and tell them that you're breaking the rules first. Since you wanna send in false reports about me doing fucking all this shit that makes no goddamn sense. So, I mean, what other problems have they brought? Uh, let's see. See, it's stuff like this that I just learned so much about solo queue. Matchmaking is broken. People buy ranked accounts with real money. You can Google it, but it's whatever it 
but it's whatever. It brings in customers. League has no profit since it's free, and their only income is skins, icons. But there's always ways to get it free. As to Dota, where everyone has to pay to play, has to pay. Check the prize pools to understand why services are so different. So yeah, I think it's stuff like this where like I make comments like this. Lol says every ranked person who has lost connection feeders in their team. You should watch some videos from Dunkey. You should see the people he gets matched with. Don't feel so bad. I think it's stuff that I have posted like this that I think a lot of people started noticing me and started having respect for me, which all of this has nothing to do with anybody in esports. You know, like this had nothing to do with. I, no, the person who wrote that actually deleted it, so deleted his comment, so I'm not going to bring up something when you deleted your comment, but just know that it was not my idea. <laughs> Anyways, but um, a lot of my stuff came from this. So for you guys to constantly say, oh, it's Crepo, it's Meteos, it's Sneaky, it's Reckless, like, I'm pretty sure... It's because of them finding me that yes, people are kind of like, who the fuck is this bitch? But otherwise, it's mostly because of what I have wrote on a lot of the board posts that people even noticed me. And I think one of the things that they were most worried about was that I would be a man, like a big hairy man. But I'm not. I'm a girl with nice titties. <laughs> And obviously a very tight pussy because someone's still mad about it. So, um, yeah. Um, let's just write it. Fuck it. Ooh, I almost fell. <laughs> so I've gotten chat bans like Donkey and Jensen. Sexist men want me banned like Dopa for wanting a monogamous relationship. People have thought I was ELO boosting like Meteos. Crackheads want me banned for playing cunt songs like Sneaky, so I'm not left with much of a choice here. So yeah, end of story. The end. I'm gonna go take a break. <laughs> I gotta reply to these, but oh my god, I haven't had the- I didn't want- oh my god. I'm gonna reply this when I get back. I just wanna take a break. Oh yeah, and walk my dog. That's what I wanted to do, walking my dog. Number one. Oh man, it's five. Rufus, come.
gonna stop the stream. And whether I come back or not is debatable, but I don't think I should leave it here. So I'm just gonna leave for now.